This video segment illustrates task-specific pointing techniques. The nature of visualizations and the social uses to which they are put rely heavily on pointing, that is, directing visual attention. Even the simple decision of specifying a point of view has pointing consequences since it determines what will be visible and foregrounded. Virtually all visualization decisions have potential pointing implications since they can influence how viewers will distribute their attention across a scene. Observations of pointing in graphical presentations show that they frequently involve intents more complex than just look here, and we are interested in how computation might be employed to realize such intents. Here we present an example of this in the visualization of switched telephone network activity. The display is a 3D cityscape depicting transient errors on fiber optic cables. Analysts are confronted with an overwhelming volume of data. One ongoing data collection effort collects 100,000 error parameters per day. The cityscape takes center stage with orthogonal shadows that depict specialized computed averages. A panel window at the bottom allows users to control the display. We should mention that cross-window pointing techniques like this spot are useful in telecommunication applications since users' tasks are often arrayed across windows and they want to point across windows without interruption. Running along the left to right axis are days. Lines mark month boundaries. Front to back, each strip represents an individual digital signal system. On the vertical axis are error magnitudes. Users can inspect stationary patterns of errors or animate the errors through time. The users of this prototype are interested in improving the quality of digital service. They want to guarantee that transient errors will not occur more frequently than some low threshold. Working towards this end, they are interested in overall patterns of error signatures predictive of future threshold breaking. We have provided visualization that supports their analysis by allowing them to vary the threshold and to see threshold breaking in the context of sub-threshold error activity. In terms of visualization, this means we want to direct their attention towards the occurrence of threshold breaking events, but in a way that also shows relevant sub-threshold error data. This pointing intention is served by a variably transparent user-controlled cutting plane to represent the user's choice of threshold. The transparent crudding plane creates a contrast luminance between errors that exceed the threshold and those that don't. Within the scene, this creates the kind of effect that Anne Treisman and Margaret Livingston have called pop-out, where the eye is effortlessly drawn specifically to the threshold-breaking errors. Variable transparency handles the other part of the pointing intention. Peering down through the threshold near any threshold breaking, Users can see the surrounding sub-threshold activity and get more or less stimulus by varying the transparency. The accepted wisdom of what tools and skills are required to produce visualization excellence is undergoing redefinition in order to accommodate, among other changes, new pointing facilities. These facilities will be in demand because they will allow users to express complex task-specific pointing intentions.